I got nothing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy! This is Raps Callion's Report. Uh, my name is Andy. That's Eric. That's Tyler. Uh, you know, go to our website, watch your videos, whatever, you know the drill. You Call us. Things. Call us on our phone number. We haven't gotten no phone calls lately. Come on, people. You're supposed to send us erotic messages. If you want to prank us, us, we don't care. Prank us. We love it. For those who are hearing in you may be watching. Uh, today's topic is pure speculation. Completely we're going to random. Completely. Uh, we're going to dream up the future of consoles, systems, video games that you play. Uh, will they be a thousand dollars? Will there be one unified console? Uh, and so forth. Let's start with that. Do you guys ever think there will be one unified console that you play games on? Nope. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Only because corporate there's no way that Microsoft, Sony, and... Well, that's like Nintendo. trying to say Microsoft and Apple are going to make one universal computer. <laughs> Unless the government takes it over. That'd be pretty crazy. Yeah. What? Yeah. We're talking future. That's so true. That's <laughs> that true. is true. It's like a coconut. That, that's that's after the giant meteorite hits the earth and then we use BB guns and bottle caps. Is that, <laughs> how, um, is that before or after the Texas War? Texas Space War. No, no, Texas Space War is much further. Oh. <laughs> uh, you're bringing it back. Uh, quite good. Anywho. I guess in a way it's like saying, well, Pepsi and Coke get together and make a super soda. No. All right. What if you put oh, pokey Pepsi pokey. and Coke in a glass and drink it? Would your head explode? I think it just tastes kind of crappy. Yeah. I did that once, so I just kind of like, mm. uh, Next question. Do you think we'll ever have, here's one, do you think we'll ever have a game console they will be completely cloud-based in its memory storage. Meaning no hard drive, nothing. Just you plug it in, connects to the internet, mm. backs up all your saves, and even your games through a cloud system. I don't know about... Well, I think there might be systems that would have that option. But like the PS3 kind of does now with the saves. Well, I'm saying like completely, like everything's yeah, yeah. back... Because see, you got to realize though, what if you don't have the internet or whatever? I mean, that would be like a requirement. But do you believe we will get to the point where everyone has... High speed internet. See, not everyone's got money, man. That would be. Well, it becomes a government service, like phone service. Oh well, yeah. Well, then, Something yeah. Like, I, I, or not. Well, see, you don't need the internet, though. I mean, you don't really yeah. need phones either. Do we? But that's a whole conversation in itself, right well, there. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that kind of game system would be one that way they would play on space colonies, and I'm not saying that to sound funny. Someday we'll have space colonies. And I, I they're saying it's pretty far away. Pretty far but away, but that I can. I mean, space is all about efficiency and all that. And by then, we're gonna need to have absolute guaranteed communication between any planets and colonies. So, that makes sense. Yeah. Here's one. Um, how much further do you think game graphics will go? We'll get to a point where. We have true 3D where it's completely wrapped around. Well, I guess it's more of an entertainment question. I just put it this way: Will we sometime in the future see like avatar quality, like almost real world style graphics on our our console? I think so. I definitely think so. Because when I mean, you look at some of the games out there now, they're they're getting there. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. And plus, if you got, I don't know if there's any 3D games out there, but they got 3D TVs, obviously. So, so if you got uh, Batman, both of Batman games now. Uh, a couple other ones on the PS3 support 3D with the 3D TVs. So, I mean, if they got 3D, then you realize this technology is only advancing. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, I'm guessing, hell, five, ten years, I mean, they might... I would like to make a graph of video gaming. Have the Y-axis be amount of polygons, say, system can run, and the X-axis be years. And see if it plateaus or if it's. That's what I'm saying. Like it's, it's probably a sharp. See, I don't know. It, well, it depends. Like how how much more crazy can it get? How exponentially does it increase? How yeah, yeah. is it? When you get to the point where you can see follicles of hair on a character, how much further can you go? Like, exactly. That's worse. I want to see a zit on one of my characters. <laughs> Why is it that yeah. if you're playing a game where you're running around a jungle, hacking and slashing all these natives and Nazis or whatever the heck's going on? Are you telling me my guy's not going to get a zit? 
I want to see a four. I want to have a sub game where it's like, oh, like move the right stick. <laughs> Carefully turn the left stick. Uh, I think uh, each finger would be a stick, and it would be like uh, it basically uh, be Heavy Rain Eight or something. Yeah. <laughs> where he going to he wakes zoom. up, use the bathroom. He... By then, we would probably have controllers uh, that react to environments. Like if you're in the rainforest, your controller is going to get all wet and slippery, and there will be a slug on it. But it will only be in your <laughs> mind because your brain chip will be telling you. <coughs> oh yeah, the brain chip. No, so what what, what about virtual reality? I don't know. I think. I'm I'm it's, on the fence on that one. I don't, I don't really. Yeah. It seems like it'd either be overly expensive or just. I don't know. Well, if you look at like say you know obviously in movies, ever since like what the eighties, no, they've yeah. always had like the big goggles, the big gloves, and like the running around. Lawnmower. But Rain, so. the more yeah, like lawnmower and stuff. But the more you look at it, I mean, look at the Connect or look at mm -hmm. the PlayStation Move or even the Wii. Yeah. I mean, obviously the, the the Move and the the Wii have controllers. But even the Kinect, it's obviously just capturing, you know, camera mode, all that, but... Here's the thing, though. I think that there's a advanced that. I mean... I have a fundamental flaw with the Kinect. I'll tell you right now. With the Kinect, let's say... Not well, not with the Kinect. I'm playing Batman Arkham Asylum. Okay. I press one or two buttons, and I grab a guy's arm, pull him to the ground, and knock him unconscious. With the Kinect, I would have to grab a guy's arm, pull him to the ground, knock him unconscious. The thing with video games, one of the things that makes video games so great, is they do things that I cannot and may never be able to do. Like, flip off a moving, moving vehicle to another moving vehicle. Exactly. With a Kinect, I'd have to go like, uh... You know, like... And that that's sort of thing is why I don't think virtual reality will get very far. I mean, technologically we could, but then you get into that where you're way more limited, and even then, that sort of thing could get to the point where it might drive people insane. I want to be a soldier in the night realm of the internet, and I don't want to live my life with a job. Well, it's like, they, there was, a, I don't know if they did this or not, but there was a, a rumor for a while that uh, the Kinect was going to have this thing where it scanned your actual body type, a main avatar based on how fat you were. And I'm thinking that could be really depressing for some people. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like, the whole, part of the reason we play video games is for pure escapism. Of course, yeah. You know, I mean, you play to go into a fantasy world and do stuff you can't do or to get away from a crappy job or just to, to have fun that you couldn't do. Yeah. Especially yeah. Minesweeper. Especially. You're you're the Minesweeper. You know. They have importance. Here, here's a real quick one. I read an article the other day that was fairly controversial. It was about a, a bunch of technologies that they believed wouldn't last through 2013. One, The number one, I believe, was Nintendo's console division. They are saying, and they made a very good point, that Nintendo, by the year 2013, could completely stop making consoles, possibly even handheld devices, and just focus on game development, kind of like what Sega does now. Do you think that'll happen? Yes or no? But if that's the case, who would they make the games for? PS3, 360, PC. Mobile devices. Which the mobile device market right now is huge. If you could right now go on your smartphone, and for 99 cents buy Super Mario All-Stars, would there would that not sell, sell like gangbusters? I mean, that would. Yeah, and that would make Nintendo tons of money because mm -hmm. they wouldn't have to build the consoles. Mm -hmm. They could lay off a couple million people. Mm -hmm. Like Nintendo's, I would say their strength is in their their characters. You know, Zelda, the Mario stuff, Metroid, Animal Crossing, Metroid. Yeah, that's that's where it's into their intellectual properties more than their systems. Like, a lot of people are theorizing that with this new Wii U, uh, <laughs> with the new Wii U, that uh, it's going to be kind of catch up to the PS3 and the 360. Okay. Meanwhile, the PS3 and 360 are already developing their next console. So the Wii is going to be behind again, and the main gimmick they'll have this time is the touchscreen controller, which at the same time, we already have, like, the iPad, the iPod Touch, smartphones, etc. Well, I think what... Nintendo's mistake was, if you look at, when the Wii came out, you had the motion control, and they were like, yeah, this is, you know, awesome. Mm -hmm. But then Sony's like, forget that, and they, they focused on graphics, they focused on, let's like, say, Blu-ray player, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of content other than... Well, they, they made a pretty big gamble right at the beginning, because theirs was like 600 bucks right away. It was arguably, and probably, I would say still is the most powerful. Yeah. 
But they, I mean, it was a huge risk when they put out the PS3. But then you got to realize the price difference. Yeah. But then you got Xbox came out, you know, 360 came out with, yeah. you know, pretty good graphics and everything. Yeah, yeah. And the Wii, their graphics are really limited. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the gameplay may be unique, may be different, may, you know... The experiences. You got different yeah. ways of playing versus, say, you know, Xbox or PS3. Until the move came out and they connected. But, but however, now it's just like... Nintendo Wii's got nothing on the other two systems. They have no upper hand. Yeah. So it's like... Except for the intellectual properties. Again, you want to play a Zelda game, you have to have a Wii or You gotta have that specific... Yeah. Yeah. You want to play Mario Party, same thing. But again, it's like... Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, a lot of people buy devices for Mario Kart. If if you saw something like a burger and it looked really good versus a burger that didn't look really good, which one are you going to attempt to eat? Hmm. So visually, we see the graphics of, say, System A versus System B, Hmm. and... Yeah, you want plot, you want gameplay, you want, you know, style of gaming, genre, all that. But you also want the graphics to support the game. I mean, if you had a really super awesome game, but it was 8-bit original Nintendo, would you take the time to play it versus... That's what I'm saying. I think art style counts for a lot, too. Yeah. Like Okami versus Gears of War. Don't care at all for the art style of Gears of War. Most boring thing in the world to me. Whereas something more colorful is a lot more interesting, I think. But yeah. that's a matter of personal preference. Really. Yeah, of course. And yeah. on preference, we are talking from the perspective of semi-professional gamers. The kid audience that just be getting to play video games, families, that's their Wii's never going to lose that. That's true. Because that's how they started. The Wii and is Wii, like their NES, essentially. A, a Wii is, I guess, a really good family game. Or family system. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But on the flip side, you have to realize, now that you got PlayStation, you know, Move, you got 360 Connect, they're getting games out, too, where it's like, bring the family along, have, you know... Well, the Connect has that uh, Sesame Street game coming out, which is being uh, co-developed, or just developed by the guy who did um, Psychonauts, uh, Brutal Legend, all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, so it's a very, very well-developed game by a top developer, the Sesame Street characters, on the Microsoft system. You know, so that's going to be a huge deal when that comes out. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this up now. Uh, this is Rapscon's report, everybody. Uh, Special guest. <laughs> video game speculation. Meat. Video. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll be talking about meat sometime in the future. Yes. Yes. Or before. Well. Anyway, look for the meat episode as well. <laughs> um, this is Rapscon's report, video game speculation. Uh, whatever, I'll talk to you later, who cares? <laughs>